What's up, everybody? My name is GN. Welcome to another episode of Aperture Fight Focused. Today, we got a SWAT officer, Jared Wehungi, talking all about the expandable baton. Maybe you've seen videos on the internet of the expandable baton totally shit in the bed, not working, not doing what it's designed to do. Bullshit. 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 So in this video, Jared actually mentions why such things don't work and gives a framework for how we can make this work better. I want to explain an important principle. If someone is standing there throwing ballistic strikes at you, don't go to a control hole takedown. Okay? If you've got a baton, a baton is first and foremost an impact tool. Okay? So what does this baton give me? Reach advantage. Okay? I can, this is as far as his fist reach, but I can hit all the way out here. Okay? So I could be striking to his legs and staying out of reach of his arms. Remember, we need a fundamental skill set, but we're given tools to do our jobs. Maybe I give, if, if the situation dictates, I take a taser out, more distance, right? So I, I, I want to make sure, again, when we teach use of force, we make sure people understand the tactical hold, okay? Tactical hold. Tactical hold, hold. Okay, you have to penetrate. <laughs> That's funny. All my options, what are they, right? We also understand sometimes those options don't work, they're not available, they're ineffective, they get disarmed, you see police officers get weapons taken off of them. I gotta have a good fundamental skill set, but tools help you do the job. So I don't wanna skip over that, but right now we're talking about the baton, okay? My baton is in my hand, I use it to create the opening, right? I hit him and I try and either injure him or create, generate some kind of compliance. Right, if his fists are up, then maybe it's bang, right, and I hit his hand. Now maybe I see the opening to push, right, and that's my, my signs coming here, right. So when I've created the opening, right, if he was standing here with his hands down, more of a passive, uh, uh, a passive resistor. Come on, you wanker. Yeah, I don't know what his actions are going to be, right. But this may be a situation where I come in and his hands stay like down and you. I come here and back, right? Sorry. Yeah. But that may be my it. strike that, that allows me to enter into that. Okay. So it depends on the situation. Actively attacking, don't try and enter into a control hole because you get a punch in the face, right? Hit him first, create the opening. If there's two of us maybe now, and maybe someone was able to get a hold of this hand or which hand, another hand, and he's still fighting, so big man, let's grab onto this arm. So he's got that arm and he's still fighting, then maybe that's my opportunity to come into here. And now we've got both hands tied up. So maybe his attention is divided, right? So the key takeaway here is don't try a control hold on an actively assaulted subject, okay? Unless the opening is available, meaning attention divided, you've created the opening through strikes, so on and so forth. We want to make sure that you understand that principle because it's an important one, right? Don't want you, someone swinging fist at you and you're trying to, okay, how do I get a hold of his arm, right? Hit him in the, hit him in the arm. Okay, hit him in the arm. And then hit him in the leg, right? And then if the opportunity presents itself, now I know how to do it because I know the technique. Okay? If you don't know the technique, you're going to miss the opportunity. You're not going to recognize it, right? Everyone understand that? The answer. Okay. Yeah. Understand the principle. So don't think, okay, he's throwing fists at me. Now, how do I get that control hold on? Right? That's not, that's not the idea. First and foremost, impact tool. Okay? When the opportunity presents itself, now I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve to help me control this guy. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope it made sense to you. If you like the logic that was presented in this video, please make sure to smash up the like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And if you like, hit that notification bell so that you get notified. Be among the first to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now, if you want to learn more about how law enforcement, military, and professional security utilize these tools, I urge you to visit tricomtraining.com. Check out the modules in the store. And until next time, my name is GN. 
I is Audis.